If Kathy receive the score of 91 on the fourth exam, then her average will be. 今天没办法做competition了,因为今天 Victoria要去camp了,他没有来,办法来。然后呢,Oliver还没回家。所以如果现在比赛的话,就变成Elaine跟Daniel和Chopper,Harvey三个人一比三。Oh,God!我倒不是很害怕,我就怕Daniel,
不要看到别的狗就这样，好不好？哎、yeah, ，他看到别的狗，他就觉得哦，哇 ，Is there like a dog outside the window or something？ 对呀、啊，对呀、啊，对呀、啊，外面有一个狗走过，<笑>然后他就他就不行了，他就说啊，有危险，我让我来保护你。Okay, so that's it. 听到了吗？听到了吗？听到了吗？狗的。Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, so when mean, medium, and mode of the list to ten, two. Five, two, four, two x are this thing like that. So first of all, I'm going to put them into order, right? So it's two, 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 four, five, ten, and x. I put x here is because I don't know where it is x located, right? Correct chapter because x may be here, x may be here if x is smaller than two or bigger than ten, and never know, right? So first of all, I need to put them into The criteria they belong to. Let's take a look at this one. They said, when the mean, median, and mode of the list of this one are arranged in increasing order, they form a non-constant arithmetic progression. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So first of all, if I said x is, so I know x must be. So if x is bigger than two. And because they have mean, median, and mode, so first of all, I'm going to calculate the sum of these numbers. So six plus four plus five plus ten equals twenty-five. Correct, everybody. So how many numbers are there? It's twenty-five plus x and divided by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 好，那我们来看看这个 x。他说的是一个 arithmetic progression。那这个 x 可不可能？等于啊， um, 比如说一，那二十六除以七是不是不等于一个整数啊 ？So that's impossible. Correct, everybody. Help to understand. Okay, so we need to put an x value that the making this x could be divisible by plus twenty five could be divisible by seven. 那我们想想看 ，x 是不是至少要等于三 ？At least equal three. Correct, Elaine. 对不对？因为如果 x 等于一的话，二十六除以七不除。x 等于二也不行 ，x 等于三，二十八除以七等于三。Get it? So first of all, we're going to put x is bigger than two and smaller than four. Correct? So we put x here. Get it, everybody? Okay. So if x is here, so x is mean. Sorry, x is the median. Correct? Because g is in between. Two and four, which is the fourth number. Understand? Okay. So now let's take a look at the next one. So what is the next possibility? Is x is bigger or equals to four? But I don't think it will equals to four. Okay, because if it is equals to four, it's impossible. So bigger than four. So that means x is possibly where? So two, 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 four. X five ten, get it, everybody? Can you understand? Okay, so yeah. let's take a look at this one. If x is bigger than two and smaller than four, okay. So let's take a look at this one. The mean equals twenty five plus x divided by seven. Okay, which must be equals to what? Because they are said, it is having the. So we already think x equals three, right? We already put this x out. X is just assume it is three, right? Okay, so if it is three, then it must be equal to four, right? If x equals three, right? And the medium is three, and the mode is what? Mode is two, because that's a two. Mode equals two, right? Mode is always equals two. 好了，那我们做出来没有？二三四，这个是不是一个 arithmetic sequence? Is it right? Right, right. Okay. 好 ，so let's take a look at the next one. So if x is bigger than four, okay. So f if x is bigger or equals to four, so x could equals what? So we have twenty five 
plus x over 7 still mean? But everybody, this time the mode is still 2, right? And can you tell me what is a mean? Median. Median equals what? Equals oh. 4, right? Very good. So 2 is a mode, and that's a mean. So let's take a look at this one. So x equals what? So 2, 4, and we could have... Um, mean equals six. What do you think? Okay, so when mean is six, so seven times six equals 42. So X equals what? 17. And you can see X equals 17 is also, it's fit for X is bigger than four, right? So that's why X equals three or X equals 17. So three plus 17 equals what? Equals 20. So the answer is equal. Clear? Okay, so now let's take a look at number 20, okay? So the mean of three number is 15 more than the least of the number and 20 less than the greatest. Okay, oh, Oliver Lala. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. We have three numbers, A, B, and C. And I want to put them in order. So A is the smallest, C is the biggest, okay? So the mean of three numbers, so A plus B plus C, divided by three equals the mean, right, chapter? Okay, so this number is 15 more than the least number. So that means A plus 15 equals this one, correct? Okay, so the second one, A plus B plus C over three. This number is 20 less than the greatest. So C minus 20 equals this one, right? And the median of this number is eight, okay? So I know this one is eight. Correct, everybody? So we have the same new equation as eight plus C plus eight equals three A plus 45. Understand? I time three, both left side and the right side, correct? And this one we have A plus C plus eight equals three C minus 60. Okay, so if we're putting them together, so C equals 2A plus 37, correct? So I'm gonna replace it. So here we have A plus C equals 3C minus 68. So 2C minus 68 equals A. Okay, so I'm going to replace C with 2A plus 37. So A equals 2 times 2A plus 37 minus 68 equals 4A plus 74 minus 68. So 3A is negative 6. So A equals negative 2. Okay, so if A equals negative 2, C equals what? Equals negative 4 plus 37 equals positive 33. What should we still spot? Yeah, it's not, it's, oh, it could be right. Let me just see. So let me check the answer. Okay, so 41减2等于39. Okay, 13. 比最小的数大十五，比最小的数最大的数小二十。对了，very good. So negative two and thirty-three. So what is their sum? So I have to plus them all together. So forty-one minus two equals thirty-nine. So the answer is D. Okay, chapter understand. So it's just a uh, um the the algebra way. Okay, so algebra way. Very good. Okay, so let's take a look at. Problem 21, the mean, medium, unique mode and the range of the collection of eight integers are all equals to eight. So means that, so this number, mean is eight, mode is eight, okay? Mean is eight, okay? Okay, and range 
is eight, and medium is also eight. Okay, so when we do those questions, obviously we have a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6, a7, and a8. There are eight numbers, okay? So the most important thing, everybody, you need to know is they said, what is the smallest integer that can be element of this collection? Almost is asking you, what is a possible value of a1? Correct, everybody? Now, chapter, Daniel, we have told you, like I put all these numbers in order, correct? If all of them are in order, so that's a1 must be the smallest one. So let's take a look at the next thing. So if the range is also eight, that means if a1 is a, is one, sorry, not a8 must be what? Okay. Nine. Very good. Okay, so if we put all the numbers into eight, everybody, could you please tell me, is it good enough to make the mean into eight? Mm -mm. Because the sum of these numbers must be 64. Correct? Okay, so now let's try two. So if A1 is two, A8 must be what? Must be 10, right? So if I put all of them in, Oh, divided by two must be equals five, eight. Why? Because medium is eight. So you can see it's not enough to make it 64 the sum. Now we're going to take So middle number, if I put eight, 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 and these one eight, and these one I put 10 and 10, let's see, is it possible? So 10, 24, and 30. So this one exactly makes 64. So that's why two is the answer. Get everybody? So the answer is two. So this is the method of listing. So sometimes we cannot find out like that, but you can just put every single one because we have choices, you can use the answer to find out the answer. Understand? You can use the choices to find out the answer. So AIME is the same thing. AIME is the same thing. Daniel, Okay, so it's going to be harder. But since we are doing this Harvey, we can use the choices to find out the answer. Understand, Elaine? Okay, which will be much better. Okay, chapter. This is also a method of teaching, right? The teacher said, hey, this is a good method, right? We sometimes use this method to teach. Okay? Okay, let's look at this. So now today we're going to do the thing is we hate the most. Uh, speed, the distance, and the time question. Oliver, Okay, so let's take a look at this one, okay? So today we're talking about the distance, time, and speed, okay? So let's take a look at the first question. So the first question usually is the easiest. Okay, so I'm going to block the answer. Okay, so we take a look at this one. Okay, uh, speed equals distance divided by time, distance equals speed times time, time equals distance divided by speed. Okay, all together, there are three variables and we need to attempt them to different answers. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Okay. It took 65 seconds for a train to pass a bridge that is 1,200 meters long. It took the same train traveling at the same speed, 85 seconds, to pass the tunnel that is 16, 1,600 meters long. How long was the train and at what speed was the train traveling? Okay.
真好，有小朋友发给我了，知道吗 ？OK， good job， washroom。Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, so we have a train and we have a bridge. So everybody, I'm going to, yeah, 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 feel bad. So I'm going to do a, yeah, I'm going to do a bridge. The bridge is like that, okay? And I'm going to do a tunnel. So tunnel is like that. Everybody, don't you agree with me? Okay, because the tunnel is a little bit longer than the bridge. So that's why I'm doing something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pushing, pushing. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, get there, get there, get there. I'm going to put this tunnel in. Okay, okay. Oh. So this bridge is 1,200 meters, okay? So we have a train. So the train, I'm just using a black block to use it. Can we do that? Okay, good, little friends. So when the block is going onto the bridge, this is the starting of those 65 seconds, okay? So do, do, do. I'll okay? Daniel chapter. So, that moment, that is, yeah, that is a total of 65 seconds. Get it? Everybody? Okay, so that is the 65 seconds. So let me ask you. So what is the total distance? The total distance is 1,200 plus the distance of this train. Correct, everybody? Okay, so equals what? That is the distance. So distance equals the speed times time. So do we know the time? Yes. 65 seconds but do we know the speed no so we just say the speed of the train is y and the distance of the train is x okay so that is the first equation the second equation is we have this tunnel is 1600 meters okay so let's take a look at this one so the thing is this one is x so do okay. So we finish here, and this is all together one thousand six hundred and another the distance of this train. So it took how long to finish this whole total distance? Eighty five seconds. 
So it's 1,600 plus x equals y times 85. Correct, everybody? Okay, so how do we do it? We minus using 2 minus 1 equals 400 equals 25y. I'm sorry, 20y. So y equals what? 20 meters per second. So how long is the train? Very easy. We're using 1, 2, 0, 0 plus x equals 20 times 65 equals 1, 1, uh, 1, 3, 0, 0. So equals 1, 2, 0, 0 plus x equals 1, 3, 0, 0. So x equals what? 100. Oh, yeah. Elaine, meters was what? Speed is what? I don't know how to do the length. I was just, like, guessing. Oh, okay. Okay, so everybody understand? If you understood this question, No, okay, so if you understand it, so we're going to go through this question, okay? So everybody, let's take a look at number one. Question number one, in case you're doing something. Okay, what kind of Elaine so I like new ideas. The shop here on the day you are Oliver to Alama. 你们看啊，这伊林今天要一个人打败你们所有人了啊！你们你们注意点啊！加油啊，男生队！男生队，我要哭了，我要。Oliver，Harvey，Daniel，Chapter，快点啊！但是，哦，哦，我跟你说，
我现在看到了 ，Chapter 也发给我了 ，Oliver 也发给我了 ，Harvey 也发给我了。OK， 好，我跟你讲啊，这个男孩子啊，还是需要努力一下的，对不对 ？OK，Very、okay, good。So let's take a look at this one。好，这个红颜色的就是小车车，对不对 ？Train， 小车车。OK， 好，看好啊，这个小车车。从那边看到这边，对不对 ？So the total distance of this train traveled is one thousand plus itself, right? So this is total distance equals what? Equals the speed of this train times time. Correct. So the second one is also one thousand six hundred twenty-five plus x equals y times what? Seventy-five. Correct, Harvey. Okay. So how do we do it? We minus one. 好，那这个时候 chapter 会说，老师为什么不是一减二？也可以减二，但一减二是 negative 嘛，对不对？那我们二减一是 positive 嘛 ，so 625 equals 25y， so y equals what？ y equals 25 meters per second。好了，那 x 怎么 x 怎么做 ？x equals 1000 plus x equals 25 times 50 equals 1250， so x equals what？ Two hundred and fifty. Okay, so Elaine is the first one. Get it right, and Chapter is the second, and Oliver is third. Very good. Okay. Ah,、uh, Daniel, 好像也做对了。哎，等一下，我看看 Daniel 发给我没。Daniel 发给我没？哎 ，Daniel 没有发啊。Daniel 打屁股。Okay, Harvey is not bad. At least you sent me the answer. Daniel 刚刚去厕所，然后屁股落在那边。Okay, so let's take a look at number two. Okay, so I give you the number two question. So give me one second. I just have. I need to create a block first. So then you are not going to see the answer. So oh, 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 oh. Number two. Yeah, number two is pretty easy. It's actually okay. Mr. Brown drove at a speed of ninety six and seventy two. And what is average speed? Okay, everybody, two minutes. Okay, your turn. This part is very simple. Ah, this part is doing wrong. Ah, you come at me, what, 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 what? You come, what, 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 come at?
，呀，呀，就把屁股都拿出来，屁股拿出来，屁股拿出来，看的对不对啊？也许男孩子都对的，对不对？屁股拿出来也可以表扬自己一下，就全对，我们男生也可以打一下屁股 ，OK， 表示。Hooray! We beat Elaine. OK， 那也有可能的，男孩子都做错了，对不对？然后只有 Elaine 一个人做对了，因为男生三个小、四个小朋友的答案是全部都一样的。OK， 然后 Elaine 是不一样的。我们来看看啊，有可能五个人全部做错，全部屁股拿出来打屁股。OK， 好，我们先来看一下。I think I got it wrong. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, so Mr. Brown drove at speed at ninety six. From office every morning. 然后回来的时候呢是 seventy two. 好，有些小朋友说老师，为什么他去的时候可以九十六公里每小时，回来只有七十二，很正常吧？去的时候睡好觉了，一点都不累，对不对？然后去了，然后回来的时候呢，工作了一天了，累得像条狗一样，就很累，对不对？然后那边 understand chapter. OK， 你们早上去学校的时候是不是充满了力量？然后回家的时候是不是累得像条狗？是不是这样 ？OK。So let's see what is the average speed for this round trip. Okay. So remember, 我小朋友说老师，我知道怎么做。九十六加上七十二，八除以二，一百六十八除以二等于八十四。来，是这样做的，告诉我。是这样做的，告诉我。啊，谁跟你说可以这样做的 ？How to how to do the average speed? How to do the average speed? Yes. Average speed each equals the total distance divided by the total time. Hmm. 好，那老师，我们不知道 total speed， 我们呃 total distance， 我们不知道 total time， 不可以不知道的呀，对不对 ？Okay, we can say when we go. 我们说九十六和七十二的 lowest common multiple. Four, twenty-four, eighteen, and two, twelve, and nine, and three, and three, four. Right? So sorry, four, three. Okay. What is the lowest common multiple of the ninety-six and seventy-four? Seventy-two is eight times three times twelve. So thirty-six times eight equals 六百四十八，两百八十八。Okay. The distance 我就当它是两百八十八 kilometers. So go and back should be two hundred eighty-eight times two. Okay, when you go there, how long you take? Three hours because two hundred eighty-eight divided by ninety-six, and how long you take when you back? Four hours because two hundred eighty-eight divided by seventy equals four. So it's five hundred and seventy-six divided by seven. So equals what? Equals ah, five hundred seventy-six divided by seven equals five hundred seventy-six divided by seven. Okay, so sixteen. So it's two. So eighty-two and one over eight. Oh, sorry, seven over eight. One over. Sorry, I don't know two over seven. What I'm doing? Eighty-two and two over seven. That is my answer. Okay, 好，做错的小朋友，自己打屁股，自己打屁股，自己打屁股，自己打屁股。Okay, 五个小朋友，哇，五个小朋友集体打屁股，何其的壮观呐！ Oh yeah, hey, Elaine, did it, ma? Elaine, did it. Four children are playing together. Hey, I'm telling you, boys, how do you do? Today, Elaine is alone. Take a bag. How do you do? How do you do? Captain, how do you do? Okay, so let's see. 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 Okay, so let's take a look at. 男生加油呀 ！You cannot let him like that, okay? So let's take a look at this one. So number two, two trains traveled towards each other on a different track. Train A traveled at a speed of fifty-four kilometers per hour. Train B traveled at seventy-two kilometers per hour. They towards each other. A com a commuter 就有一个人站在 train A 上面。Recorded that the train B took eight seconds to pass his window seat completely. How long was the train B? 哎呀，又有点难教题目。完完了，我以前我以前教过的，我觉得 Elaine 还记得，我觉得你们别的人都不记得
Daniel, 问题问你的是 How long was the train be? 你跟我说 six seconds. 那个 train be 是时间吗？嗯。嗯哼。好，我们来看看啊 ，Harvey 发了 ，Elaine 也发了 ，OK，Elaine、okay, 说我做了，但是我不是很确定是这个意思吧 ？Yeah，OK，、okay, 好，这个很很很很好，这个题目啊，就是小朋友们，如果你手里有两块橡皮的话 ，I think it's really good to have something like that. OK， so for instance， you have I just using two lipsticks as a thing, okay? So one of the train and the other train. Oliver, understand? So I'm going to just uh, um, ah ah ah, everybody, I'm gonna stop the thing. I let you take a look at me first, okay? Yeah, where the shoe is? Where is it? Okay. So everybody, I want you to take a look at this one, okay? So chapter. This is one train and this is another train, okay? So basically, these two trains are heading to each other. <laughs> So it is the same thing as two people are heading to each other, but chapter people 没有长度。我们人就是一个点。In math question, a human being is a dot, but a train is having a distance. Understand everybody? That is a distance. That is a totally different between the time distance and the speed of question we talk about before and now. Get it? 如果我们以前学的是两个人这样走的话，两个人就是两个点，你不用去考虑这个人有多胖，这个人有多瘦，这个人有多高，这个人有多矮。但是当两辆车在往前走的时候 ，Oliver， 你就要考虑这辆车和这辆车他们的 distance 有多长。Understand? So that is the only differences between the question we learned before and the question we learned today. Okay? So we know train A is a little bit quicker. And the train B is a little bit slower. Okay. This one is 54. This one is 72. Can we do that? Okay. 好了，他说在 train A 上面有一个人。So everybody, let's do this. Okay. So the train A is. Oh, The train B 呢也是呜，对不对？这样子。好了，那老师问你们，这个地方是不是站了一个人啊 ？So there's a human being， 我们就测他站在这个车头，对不对？好了，你看这个车，这个车上的人看着
train B 完全经过它，是不是就是看着这个 train B？ 这个时候他看到它了，对不对？然后这个时候他走了，你看他走了多少路程 ？This five, this eight seconds took how long? What is the distance? Everybody, come. The distance is exactly the distance of train B. Get it? Okay. So the distance is exactly the train B's distance, the length of the train B. Okay. 好了，那我们知道 eight seconds 是时间是 time. So the question right now is, what is the speed? Let me ask you, what is the speed? The speed is fifty four. The speed is seventy two. Or the speed is fifty four plus seventy two. Everybody, we have two train is heading to each other. So, 他们两个人是在帮对方还是在追赶对方 When you are catching each other is seventy two minus fifty four, right? When you are heading to each other, 我们以前做过的两个小朋友同时相向而行应该怎么样 The speed of what? Plus them together. Understand? So that's why the train B, the distance is what is. 好，那小朋友说，老师不可能啊，八乘以五十四加七十二，这个 train B 那么长啊。哎，小朋友看到没有？这里是 fifty four kilometers per hour. We need to transfer them to the speed of what per second. So fifty four thousand divided by 3600 that's equals to per second what is the speed of train a understand everybody so divided by 9 divided by 9 divided by 2 divided by 2 okay so the answer is 1 okay 15 meters per second 那 seventy two 呢是 twenty meters per second， 所以是八乘以十五加上二十。So the answer is eight times thirty five. So the answer is two hundred and eighty meters. Get it, everybody? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop here and let you do it from the very beginning.
Okay, everybody, understand? Okay, so now let's move back. Okay, ha ha, my hand fell back. Come back. Everybody, let's take a look at number three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see the answer. I didn't see the answer. I gave you the answer. So let's take a look at number three. Professor Greenberg traveled by scooter from his house to do 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 do. Okay, so everybody, this one. Oh, there is someone done. There is someone done. Oh, my God. 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 Okay, Daniel, Elaine, Harvey, the answer is all the same. But at least I got three of them. Oliver, oh, Chopper. Okay. Now it's like this, 2v2. Elaine's answer and Chopper's answer are the same. 然后 Harvey 和 Daniel 的答案是一样的。Oliver， 我们看你了，你你你你选哪边 ？Oliver， did you send me the answer？ 没有Okay, 好，我们来看一下啊。So Professor Greenberg traveled by scooter from his house to town, same distance away, some distance away. Sorry, if he traveled as a constant speed of fifty kilometers per hour, he would arrive at eleven a.m. If he traveled at seventy-five kilometers per hour, he would arrive at ten a.m. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Let's take a look at this one. 好，那你们知不知道这个 Professor Greenberg， 他是哪几点钟出发的呀？有没有人知道？不知道，对不对 ？But we only know that the distance is the same. 他五十公里每小时到了 town， 
也是一样的速度，也是一样的距离。它七十五公里也是一样的距离，对不对 ？Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So if we say the distance from hometown home to town is x kilometers, is it okay? So we know x over fifty minus x over seventy five should equal to what? 这个是他从家到趟的时间，用五十公里，这个是七十五公里的，这就等于一啊。Because eleven a.m. to ten a.m. is only one hour difference， 对不对 ？Correct everybody. So can we find out what is x？ 那么呢？那还是五十和七十五的 lowest common multiple 是什么？不知道啊，十、十五、五 ，one hundred fifty。Is what twenty five times six one hundred and fifty. Very good. So three x over one hundred and fifty minus two x over one hundred and fifty equals one. So x equals what one hundred and fifty. Okay. 说明距离就是一百五十公里每小时。好 At what speed he should arrive? Arrive at ten thirty. 好了，那也就是说，你看他一百五十，那你已经都算得出来了嘛？看怎么样 ？Three hours 到。对不对 ？So he start at eight a.m. Correct, everybody. Okay. So now he started. So one hundred and fifty. So divided by two. Sorry, two point five. 等于什么 ？Sixty kilometers per hour. Okay. So the answer is chapter right and Elaine right. Good job, chapter. Very good. Okay, Daniel and Harvey, 要不要打屁股呀 ？Okay, 喊了一下打屁股。Elaine, very good. Okay, chapter, very good. Good job. Chapter, 而且做的很快啊，做的很好。Okay, so let's take a look at number four. Okay, number four. Everybody, please take a look at number four. Frankie and Ronnie embarked embarked on a movie escalator to second floor of a shopping mall. Frank walked up to the escalator. 什么叫 escalator？ 大家知道吗？就那个自动扶梯。Okay, at a speed of two steps every second. At the same time, Ronnie walked up to the same escalator at a speed of three steps every two second. 好，那老师问你是 Frank 比较快还是 Ronnie 比较快 ？Frank. Very good. Frank 比较快，对不对？ Ronnie 的 speed 是 every second is one point five steps. 然后 Frank 是 two steps every second. 
Frank arrived at the second floor in 25 seconds. It took Ronnie 30 seconds to reach the same floor. How many steps had the escalator when it was stationary? Okay, so this is very important. Okay, 小朋友们，如果这个自动扶梯它不动的，那很容易，对不对？啊，我知道 two steps every second. 那二十五个 second 做做完，那二乘以二十五是不是就等于五十个 steps？ 对不对？很简单。But unfortunately, we're talking about 什么？这个题目有点像什么？ Is 有有点像什么 ？Water， 有点像 water。和小船的这个故事，对不对？因为如果是顺水的时候，这个水流有一个速度，可以帮助小船往前走，对不对？但是如果是逆水的时候呢，这个速度就是什么 ？Against the flow， 明白吗，小朋友们 ？OK， 好，我提醒过了啊，小朋友们看看能不能自己做出来，好不好？我们可以永远想，速度的加速是 n steps per second。OK， 如果你或 x steps per second， 不管。OK， 好，我们看一下这个题目。Okay, number Ah, 还是不会啊。那我们先来想想看啊，我们来想想看这个 escalator 一共有多少个 step？ 是不是应该是 the step which is finished by Frank and plus the escalator itself？ 他自己不是也在往上走，对不对 ？OK， so because Frank's speed is two， 好了，那因为 Frank 也是往上走， escalator 也是往上走，所以他们一共的应该是不是 speed of Frank plus speed of the escalator？ Times twenty five, correct? Okay, and we can talk about Ronnie. So Ronnie's speed is three over two, and also plus what? Plus the x, right? Because that's the total speed of the escalator and the Ronnie. And you need to times what? Times thirty, because the distance is the same. They are doing the same escalator. So a Speed times time equals distance, and speed times time equals distance, and the distance should be the same. So fifty plus twenty five x equals forty five plus thirty x. So five x equals five. So x equals one. So that means the speed is what? The speed is one. Speed of the escalator is one. So that's why it is seventy five, and this is also seventy five steps. So altogether. The escalator is seventy-five steps. So, how many steps had the escalator when it's stationary? Understand, everybody? Oliver understood. Chapter. Okay. 好，如果小朋友说老师，我不知道为什么要把两个加起来，那你分开算也可以的，因为这个叫 Frank 的，他二十五秒是不是一共走了五十步啊？五十个台阶，对不对？那这个二十五秒，这个 escalator 也自己是不是也做了二十五个 x， 对不对？好了，那你也可以算这个 Ronnie 在三十秒里面是不是走了四十五个台阶？然后呢，把这个三十秒里面这个 escalator 自己也走了三十个台阶，所以一样的，五十加上二十五 x 等于四十五加上三十 x， so that's the same thing. Okay, understand? Okay, so we're going to. Move forward, okay. Let's take a look at number five, okay, everybody. Number five. Oliver, 加油 Chapter, 加油 Daniel, 加油 Harvey, 加油 
，这个题目一共有三辆车啊，小朋友们 ，all together 有三辆车，不是只有两辆车。这道题目有点复杂的 ，OK？ 啊、呃，你有没有发觉，小朋友们，老师在做这个题目的时候 ，first thing first 永远都是画图。Okay, 一定要把这个图的这个概念画出来。Okay, so there are two cars from A to B, right? Travel A to B. So obviously, one car is a little bit faster, and another car is a little bit slower, 对不对？我们就说 fast car 是六十二公里每小时 ，and the slow car is fifty four 每小时，对不对 ？The fast car passed an oncoming truck ten hours later. 十个小时以后，它 passed 的这个 train。Sorry, truck. 这里有一个 truck. 那十个小时，他是不是？那我想问一下，十个小时他是不是已经走了多少？ Six hundred twenty meters. Kilometers, 对不对？ Past ten hours later. Okay. 好，其实这道题目可以做的很简单。那你看好了，他说。An hour after that, 一个小时以后 the slow car meet the truck. 好像现在问你的是这个 truck 的这个速度是多少 So let's take a look at this one. 我问你一下，这个 fast truck, sorry, fast car passed the truck 的时候，这个 slow car 在哪里？是不是在五百四十的地方 Sorry, I should not. Should be better. Correct, everybody. Yeah, am I right? Am I right, everybody? So when fast cars here, because the ten hours, this slow car is here. Okay, let me tell you how much this distance is. Is it eighty kilometers? Okay, now the teacher asks you, "Which car passed the slow car ten hours later? Is it another fifty-four? Is it another fifty-four? Is it another fifty-four?" 那你说，在这个一个小时里面 ，truck 走了多少 ？Eighty minus fifty-four equals what? Twenty-six kilometers. Get it? So one hour, this truck finished twenty-six kilometers. So the speed of this truck is what? Twenty-six kilometers per hour. Get it, everybody? 好，这道题目你只要把图画出来，是不是直接做出来了 ？Get it? Chapter understand? Yeah, so this one is pretty easy, right? Okay, so now let's move forward to the next one. Okay, 这道题目是看起来有点有点难，而且主要是大家都觉得 truck 应该走得很快，没有 truck 走得很慢的，知道吧 ？Truck is very slow. Okay, so let's take a look at next one. Okay, so town A, town B are four hundred twenty kilometers apart. A car leaves town A for town B. And another car leaves Tom B for Tom A, so they're 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 heading to each other. If car A has a head start of two point five hours, and then two cars will pass each other two point five hours after car B started its journey. If car B has a head start of two hours, the two cars will pass each other three hours after the car A started the journey. Find their respective speeds. Okay, everybody work.
。OK， 好，我现在来讲了，就是最后一道题目。So it's gonna actually. So again, I'm going to do the do the line. Okay, so do the line. So there's a B. Sorry, it's A and B. Okay, so A and B. So car A leaves town A to come B. So if car A ahead of two point five hours. So we don't know the x, the speed of x, a, and it b. So we can say x kilometers per hour and y kilometers per hour. Can we do that, Elaine? Right. So ahead of two point five, 就说明这个开先走了二点五，那就是二点五 x. Then they had each other. 那剩下他们说什么 ？Then they meet each other. After two point five hours, 那就说他们俩一起走，对不对 ？Two point five hours later, they're gonna meet each other. So this one is again two point five x, and this one is two point five y, right? So the speed of a to b, so distance of a to b is what? Five x plus two point five y. Correct. Equals what? Equals four hundred twenty. Get it? Okay. So the second one, if car b ahead of the two hours, so it's. Two y right, so two y, and they will meet at three hours later. So three x and three y. So it's five y plus three x equals four hundred twenty. Correct. So how do we do it? I'm going to times two for this one. So it's ten x plus five y equals eight hundred and forty. So seven x equals four hundred twenty. So x equals sixty kilometers per hour. And what is y? Very easy. So I can just plug them in. So five y e plus one hundred and eighty because x equals sixty equals four hundred twenty. So five y equals two hundred and forty. So y equals um four hundred forty eight. Sorry. So y is forty eight kilometers per hour and x is sixty kilometers. Understand everybody? Okay, so we don't have time to discuss about the number seven questions, but don't worry about it. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, what I'm doing? So I am going to give you the homework. Okay, so the homework. If the last two questions you don't know how to do it, it is fine. I'm going to explain it to you. So altogether, there are like twelve questions. Okay, and we have already do one, two, three. So basically, you only have nine questions as a homework. Correct, everybody. So, ah,、uh, everybody, I'm not going to ask you to do finish all those questions immediately, but you can do three questions a day. And you know what? 现在只有八点钟，对不对？其实最好的时间就是你一下课先做掉三道题 chapter， 知道吗？这个时候你是老师教给你的东西，全都在脑子里面。That is the perfect time. 不要说啊，我下课了，我什么都不要，我一丢回去完了。你再多花这半个小时，这个时间是最有效率的。那起码可以做到三到四道题目，那一共九道题目，还有五道题目。那周末的时候做一下，是不是作业就很容易做完 ？OK， 我知道我一直都没有很强迫要求小朋友每一次要把作业做完，因为我知道大家这个也很难。但是我们很多小朋友今年都一定要去考这个 MC 八了，对不对？我希望你们可以对你们的这个作业再稍微对待认真一点，好不好？啊，老师拿过来，我现在也每次都会讲，后面几道难的题目我都会讲。我希望小朋友们对这个作业再多花一点时间。Elaine 是我们班里面，还有 Victoria 对作业也都很认真 ，Chapter 也比较认真。所以说，你花多少时间在你的作业上面，你就会发觉你后面的题目越做越顺，好不好 ，Oliver？OK，、okay? 每一个小朋友其实智力都一样的 ，IQ is the same， 没有特别聪明，也没有特别笨的。但是你花对了时间 ，Put your time wisely on something， you can absorb a lot of things， 你会获得很多很多东西。好不好 ？OK， so that's it for today's class. We're gonna see each other next week. OK， 拜拜。拜拜。